Hey guys, NerdKing101 here, and the Super Bowl is going on right now, and to be completely honest, I could not care less. I've never cared about the Super Bowl, I couldn't care less, everybody else is watching it right now, I just don't care. I've never cared, and honestly, I think the whole concept is kind of ridiculous to get this hyped up over a game for four hours. However, it did give us a new Endgame trailer, so we're gonna talk about it. The trailer kissed off with a shot to go by in a single second. There's nothing to really analyze here, I just think it's a really cool shot. It's literally just snapshots of clips of all the characters that got dusted at the end of Infinity War. Then we cut to the logo, which gets dusted away with the same effect that was used in the original first Endgame trailer. We then cut to a shot of New York City from the skyline, when we get to see the city, it's night, and it's empty. We then cut to another shot of Liberty Island, where we see the Statue of Liberty, and that is also surrounded by boats, but there's like no people, it's just vacant nothing that we're really finally getting to see what this post-apocalyptic, post-snappening MCU looks like, and it's really cool, and it really sets a very dark tone for this movie. Which is good, it immediately establishes that this movie is not going to be anything like the other Marvel movies in terms of its tone. So now we get probably one of my favorite parts just in terms of direction from the entire trailer. Some people move on, not us. It's probably one of my favorite lines in the entirety of the MCU, and maybe one of my favorite Captain America lines of all time. I love it. As this happens, though, we see Captain America in almost what looks like a support group with a sign outside that says, Where do we go now that they're gone? He appears to almost be in some sort of group post-snapping therapy session, which is really interesting for the character. The sign is also just incredibly haunting. It's just a black sign with bold white letters that just say, Where do we go now that they're gone? Obviously referring to the entirety, most of the human population that would kill them is snapping. While we're getting the voiceover, we then cut to a shot of Steve Rogers, like, clenching his jaw, and he just looks so angry. There's nothing really substantial about the job besides the fact that this is probably the most upset we've ever seen Steve Rogers. He's in a therapy session and at the support group and he has no idea what to do, so of course he's really angry. He doesn't know if they're going to be able to save everyone and he's really upset because he doesn't know what to do for one. Also, him being in this support therapy group basically confirms that there has been some kind of time jump that enough time had passed since Infinity War that he would end up in a support group and not be at, like, Avengers HQ trying to deal with the problem. Like, he's able to have time to go here. We then cut to my man Tony Stark and Nebula in a ship building something likely out of a box of scrap. One thing that does confirm is that Nebula is on the ship with Tony Stark. The way the first trailer was structured made it kind of difficult to tell if they were on the same ship. We were all pretty sure they were, but this trailer doesn't confirm it. We then cut to the remaining Avengers on Earth looking up to the sky. A lot of people have been speculating of all the tons of things they could be seeing. The surviving Ravengers, the surviving members of the Asgardian race like Valkyrie. Or what I think is more likely, and I think if we're all being realistic, we can all agree on, is that they're either seeing the return of Tony Stark or the arrival of Captain Marvel or if it does end up being Captain Marvel who saves Tony Stark, maybe they're both arriving. We cut to a shot of Rocket walking into some sort of building. He's pushing open what appears to be like an old-fashioned wooden door. It's made of wood. It has the metal sliding lock on the front. In the background, it's this, like, stream of water. There's a rundown area. There's a ton of rocks. The grass doesn't look very well kept. I'm honestly not sure where Rocket is. He appears to be on Earth. The only thing I can think of is that he's somewhere around Wakanda, somewhere far away from the capital. That's the only thing I can really think of. That, or he's off doing something that has to do with Groot. I would not be surprised if there was something with Groot involving Rocket in the film. We then cut to a shot of Black Widow or Natasha firing and just practicing her gunshots on the shooting range at Avengers Headquarters. However, there is something we should all pay attention to, which is Natasha's hair. First of all, her hair is 
still dyed blonde, and still very short, just like it was in Infinity War, meaning that at least this part of the film probably takes place around the end of Infinity War. Around that time period, this is before the time jump. We then cut to a shot and we see Scott Lang and Rhodey uh, in their suits and their helmets are flipping up. They appear to be getting ready to enter battle or to set off on a mission. We then cut to a shot of Thor. He looks really angry and he appeared to be walking out of some kind of hut. I have seen some people say he may be walking out of the hut that Thanos was in at the end of uh, Avengers Infinity War. And I think that is very possible, but if you look outside the hut, the mountain range out there doesn't look very much like the brief shot we saw of the planet Thanos was on. It appeared to me, personally, that it is more likely that this is just a hut of some kind in Wakanda, and this takes place immediately after Avengers Infinity War. Like, this is one of the first things we're going to see in the movie. Which is pretty consistent with most of the content we've seen in the trailer, if not all of it. I think most people agree that everything we've seen is only from the first half of the movie, from the very beginning. So what I think is likely that they're going to do is just not show us anything else. The movie has enough hype, it's been built up for 10 years, you don't really need to put a ton of action and end of movie spoilers in this. This movie going to break records regardless. We then cut to a shot of Hawkeye or Clint Barton looking up. There's a red light shining on his face. I'm assuming he's about to enter a really big battle because he looks really afraid. He may even be entering a battle with Thanos. He's definitely afraid of something. Maybe he looks scared. We then cut to a shot of what appears to be Steve Rogers, Captain America, dropping his shield onto a wrist. However, something that is very interesting about it is that his hand is like shaking, like he's having trouble controlling it. Some people are wondering if because he's strapping it and because he's having so much trouble doing it, this is a version of Steve Rogers that doesn't have his super soldier serum. I don't think that's what happened. I just think either one, his hand got messed up in the fight with Thanos and Infinity War, or his hand had been messed up since then. Like, he went up against Thanos. Super Soldier or not, his hand could get really messed up and have trouble being controlled. We then get an awesome shot of the Avengers, obviously, minus Tony Stark and Nebula, walking forward in Avengers HQ, probably getting ready to go on a mission of some kind that will involve the plot of the movie and undoing the snap. And that is it for this trailer. There isn't much to discuss really with this. There's a lot of cool little things in here, but I really went over them. This isn't like the first trailer that is super long, but I did want to do a video where I broke it down and just talked about it. I may do a video for Captain Marvel, I'm not sure. That definitely won't be out tonight upon the uploading of this video. I just don't have time. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me everything you noticed and what this trailer made you think in the comment section down below. Well, else, guys, have a great day. This is Nerd King 101 signing out.